right, two money-making vehicles side by side. To the left is my ride share vehicle, and to the right is my freight share vehicle. <laughs> this is semi number one. Uh, I had a good friend and good mechanic help me with this install. He's fantastic. Um, but I did not want to go with a, a built-in AP unit, APU unit, auxiliary power unit to this to the semi for a lot of different reasons. One is expense, two is because they suck. Um, they're just not as flexible as this unit. They um, they fail, and when they fail, you can't replace them. This can be replaced in I don't know, take me about an hour to get to Costco. Got. Now I did. I did also did an installation of a of an inverter. So the truck or my electrical grid will run off of my truck batteries in here, or off of um, the. So I got cables running underneath the truck, up through that little area and you see the vent right next to it the brown thing is the vent to the uh to the air conditioning unit air conditioning and heating let's take a look inside all right and a lot of guys will say well your ap unit you can start it from inside the truck all right well let's just debunk the myth that a gasoline generator can't also do the same. Ah, I forgot to turn it on. All right, my bad. I gotta at least select the switch to turn it on. So once you do that, you just come over here from inside the truck. It'll start up. We'll get inside the truck. Excuse the mess. It's been a long installation. I've been dreaming about this installation for a long time. We finally got it hooked up. I have the same system hooked up in my off-grid camper. I converted a cargo trailer into a, uh, into a camper. A long time ago and uh, now we got the same system in my semi let's turn this on it's got the compressor to kick on but the fan will kick on right away let's just check out the here's the inverter so that's the that's going to be power from the semi power from the semi's batteries so DC to AC current, I can charge my phone at night with the truck off. That's the whole advantage to the system is the truck does not have to be turned on for the AC and the heat to work. All right, then back here, we've got what looks to be a mess, and it really isn't, but um, I got the ducting all completed. So that's really a dryer vent underneath there. There's a funnel from a, a conversion from a four inch, which is the exhaust to, this, to the air conditioning unit. And then that exhaust com, um, comes down and funnels into a dryer vent, which then exits out of the truck. You need to do that with these units. Most people, some people don't know that. Um, all air conditioning units have to vent outside. Otherwise, they just end up not heating or they end up heating and cooling themselves, which is just, you know, you wouldn't want to do that. You want to uh, have that hot air blow outside and you want to insulate it. So I wrapped it with uh, pipe, pipe insulation because it is hot to the touch and I didn't want it touching these wires that come inside. There's a, a large hole that I filled with gap filler. I can clean that up a little bit if I want, but um, 
So I've got a heavy side, I've got a heavy amp side, which is the yellow cord. I've got a light side uh, hooked up on the generator separately. You want, ideally you want two different sides. Um, you know, one side is just sort of a, like I said, a light side, is, which is the white wire. And then the, the, uh, the air conditioning is actually running off of a, the yellow wire, which is much heavier and it's uh, heavier duty. And you can see where I have the red and the black coming from the battery, the, the batteries to the semi. Uh, this took a little bit of doing. You know, obviously I had to cut a, a hole in the floor. You could hear the AC compressor just kick on. That dryer hose is, it will scald you. It is, it is scalding hot. So you don't want, ideally you don't want to, um, you want to pipe all that excess heat outside. In the winter time, it'll be the, in the winter time it'll be the, the reverse. So it'll be uh, cold. And you want to get that cold air out. So, uh, uh, and then the back of the unit has, that's where the air goes in. And on the sides, the sides it also goes in. Exits right here. The air feels nice and cool. It'll cool off this small area pretty quickly. This is a, it's not a stand-up sleeper. It's it's a little less than a mid-roof, but you can get dressed in here pretty easily. I tried to spray a wasp. <laughs> so I sprayed, um, the wasp got in because I didn't close the door. And uh, I sprayed the foam all over the, all over the place trying to kill the wasp. Anyway, um, that's my installation. Uh, all told, I've got, let's see, so this was the AC unit and heating unit is about, I think it was 600. The generator was 500. The installation was about where I had um, the wires and stuff ran. That was about 250. And then the... Um, the DC wires for the inverter, they were 150, I got six feet of those, so I'll, I'll add that up and then, let's see, so five, six, eleven hundred, two fifty for the installation. 1350 plus 150 is 1500 even so about 1500 AP unit where you know you, and an APU unit is going to cost between 10 and fifteen thousand dollars so you do the math and the, the flexibility of this I can take this out put it in another truck install it into another truck um, or just copy it, copy the same installation. This is a Harbor Freight uh, inverter. I want to say that was 200, so 1700. I've got about, I've got well under $2,000 in this system, and it is perfect. It's perfect. Let me know what you think.